My name is Colton Fisher, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the functionality of the Online People Code Editor project. So you can download this project from the GitHub repository here, and you can perform the installation steps. It's essentially a PeopleSoft project, so you're going to be importing that into PeopleSoft and provisioning the permissionless security to the users that you want to have access to this application, and then you can start using the app. So you'll navigate to PSM projects, web IDE, open web IDE. The first time you come here, it's going to be blank. Your workspace over here on the left is not going to have any objects in it. And at the bottom, you'll notice this welcome message. This is the status bar. So this is going to communicate the response to any of the transactions that you'll be performing in this application. So for example, when you save a people code event, if there is an error, it'll communicate the error message to you down there. Similarly, if you save an event and it's successful, it'll let you know that the event saved successfully. So you can get started by adding objects to your workspace. So we'll start off by adding a couple of web libs. And you'll notice that the drop down here, it has kind of like an autocomplete functionality. This is calling the back end to get the, the list of record names that match the characters that you're typing in. So as you see, we have a two couple of um, records here. If you want to remove one, you can right click it and say remove. And if you want to drill into the records fields, you can see that here and then eventually get down to the record field people code. So this particular field has a field formula event on it. We can go ahead and open this up and we can open up this one as well. So we have a tab view here. We can switch between the two tabs to view the people code on these two particular events. And when you're ready to make a change to a people code event, you can come to the editor, make your change, and you can do file, save program to save, or you can simply do control S. So as you see, the status bar has let me know there was an error. It's an unknown function error, and it highlighted where in the code the error occurred. So get HTML text QQQ is an invalid function. So if I fix this, do control S to save. It'll let me know that the event saved successfully. So if we want to make changes to applications within the PeopleSoft um, app, we can, we can certainly do that as well. So this is the user profiles component here. If we want to make a change to this, let's say to add a message box when the user opens this page, we can simply do that with this editor. We'll need to add the component to the workspace. So this component is called user maint and we can drill into the people code events on this component. So we'll go ahead and open up the post build event to make the change. So we want to add a message box here. So we'll just output uh, the string hello to the user. And when we save this, you'll notice that this gets formatted. So the M gets capitalized, the B gets capitalized, and it does other various formatting. And now when we go to the user profiles component, we can refresh this. Let's search for user. We'll get the hello message. So that works well, but we don't want to have this so we can remove it. And we can refresh this component to make sure the message is no longer there. So this is people code and the syntax rules that get applied to this are that of people code. So if we want to open an HTML object, for example, that has JavaScript, um, we can open up something like PT common. You'll notice that the syntax rules are different on this object than they are with the people code type objects. So the var keyword is, is highlighted. Um, the comments get highlighted. And you'll notice too that this also has um, a syntax parser that knows the JavaScript language and it's able to know valid JavaScript versus invalid JavaScript. As you can see by this right here, the little X mark. So if you hover over this, it lets you know what the issue is. And it doesn't like the percent include meta function because this is not really valid JavaScript, while it is valid people tool JavaScript. So um, this is really a non-issue, but the parser is uh, smart enough to know valid JavaScript versus invalid JavaScript. So we'll go ahead and make a change to this, um, this object. Let's do an alert box. And we can save this, but we notice that we have a indicator here that says we missed the semicolon. So we can add the semicolon and the indicator goes away. We can save the program. 
everything went well there. So now the user profiles page, this is a page that has the PT common object. If we refresh this, we should get our alert box. That worked well, but we don't want to have this. So we can remove it, make sure it doesn't happen anymore. So this is JavaScript and the syntax highlighting related to JavaScript. So we have style sheets as well, which use uh, CSS. So the editor is capable of highlighting CSS. So all the keywords that happen in CSS get highlighted with blue. Um, and it also knows whether there might be warnings or errors. You can highlight over those to see, see what those might be. And as you can see, it has code folding. So you can collapse your classes um, that might be taking up a lot of space. So this is super handy. So right now, if we go ahead and refresh this page, you'll notice that all of the objects get wiped out of the workspace. This is because we forgot to save the workspace. So if you're ever working on objects and you want to be able to come back to this page to start working on them again, you need to first add these objects to your, your project or to your workspace, and then you'll simply go to File, Save Workspace. So now the next time you come here, uh, the object will still be here. So this uses local storage in your browser to save your workspace state. So this isn't stored on the server side. So that means if you come to this page in a different browser, your workspace will not be the same that it is in this browser. Or if you uh, clear your browser cache, your workspace will get wiped out as well.